Football Manager 24 has dropped. Well, for early access anyway. And we are going to go through a few things in today's video. And that is preferences, starting a new game, and also looking at the new feature of Football Manager 23 save, being able to play it in Football Manager 24, the new version, which we've never been able to do before, which I'm really excited to try out. So to go into preferences, you can go in menu or there's a way in game as well, but we're going to click on preferences. And we're going to start off with a view settings because as you can see, the computer seems to think that I'm American. And if you have a 4K monitor, you can rescale. So obviously make the text bigger, which is really handy. Then a bug that I saw is when I first loaded up the game, my graphics was five stars. I've got a top end computer, so it should be. But then I reloaded the game and now it's showing it as one star which is very, very odd. And it changed all my graphic settings as well. So it's a bit weird. So I'm just having a play here just to make sure that it's all working okay. Now we're gonna go into the advanced settings and start from most common and work our way down. So saving every week, rolling. Again, this is preference. I go between one file or three files. Skin colors, I leave this all on default, but Again, preference. Shortcuts, now these can come really in handy, but the only shortcut I use is spacebar. We're all guilty of using our foot to continue the game by pressing the spacebar. I save the game automatically every week. If your computer's not that great, I probably wanna save it every day. Resolution, not quite 4K. Uh, I have my frame rate because I record everything in 25 FPS, but again, preference. I might change that to 60 depending how good graphics are this year. Then we go to general settings. Again, this is where you got the resolution, so I'll just skip to skin, which is just a normal skin. No dark skin, but I'm pretty sure if you've got an FM scout, you can download for skins there. They're probably there already, if I'm honest. Match sounds, again, preference. I turn them on and off, pending if I'm recording or not, or I've got my kids asleep, or if I'm watching football in the background. I take the marketing stuff to no, just because I don't want anyone trying to take any data from me. You can add your own profile picture. So when you go into press conferences or your profile in for club you're managing, you can have your picture there. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to add it into the game. I love it. It gives a bit of realism. Right, let's go have a look at interface settings. Again, skin. It's quite a lot of duplications. Show in-game editor. Well, it depends if you want to cheat or not. But I put it in there sometimes because I do editing videos anyway. Now, I thought this setting was quite interesting where it says display natural positions only. That's if you just want it basic like where you used to have championship manager days of if you're center back you're center back that's it now we check for formats i don't really change anything but there actually was when i was playing the game i noticed things like the format of the date and the currency was wrong so make sure you do just double check then we go into for match settings and again i've put it all on high despite my 3d graphics capacity is shown one star i'm confident that mine's going to be fine playing high now i choose to show all player names during a match it's a shame that you can't just choose for your own team now this is great if you're starting out and you don't know for players who's in your team so it gets to learn who they are Another change I make to the default settings is I remove the clicking on advertising holding takes you to its owner's website because in game if you press it by accident and then website pops up I don't know if the game pauses or not but if it doesn't I don't want to be distracted in that way. Now another thing that I used to change is for match storage space I used to choose for highest 300 megabytes but I actually don't think that's any higher than for default anymore I've tried doing default in 300 megabytes and actually for 300 megabytes doesn't save any more than the default so i'm not too sure about that then i sort out my replay bits i mean something you don't want to show every single replay right but it's good to have the replays because you want to see in slow motion of what's going on so that you can learn from it then my live match settings i will sort out when i'm in game that i can see it for myself it's very hard to kind of choose uh, but i will do key and most likely sideline as my choice last setting is accounts this is where you can sign into your epic account or your fmfc 
Now for FMFC, as you can see, join for squad, get rewarded. It's really good, and plus you get loads of insight as well. I do recommend it highly. Wow, even my avatar is looking at his watch going, come on, Duba, hurry up. But as always, we always have a few options here. Career, Creator Club, Online Career, Fancy Draft versus. So Career is obviously the usual way of playing any football manager. That's the way I tend to play it. Creator Club, I don't, I think I've tried it once, didn't really like it. You might as well just use the editor. Online Career, you really need to be synced up with someone to play that because it's very long. Whereas Fancy Draft is fantastic because you can do it very short. Loads on Twitch on that. And then you have Versus, which is for FMFC members. So sometimes when you start a career, you might get into a career game setup like this, where you see all your teams already selected and you want to select your nations first and then click on that button, pick a team later. Then you get welcome to this choose a game mode. These are pretty new. Obviously, you've got the original that pretty much just real life to date of the database and then you make your own changes then you've got real world which i'm currently playing is it's a little bit frustrating because there's already transfers already been made for instance kane didn't have a pre-season with Bayern munich but he joins in for the german super cup and then you have your world for example this works in a manner that kane went to Bayern munich instead of getting kane you would get for 100 million budget in your transfer kitty so that you can not buy Kane and buy someone else for 100 million if you wanted to. Now you get to the nation screen that you can choose whatever nations you want. Yeah, I mean, you can try and choose all of them if you have a really super computer. But I tend to go for the usual England, France, Germany, the European teams, because obviously I'm European, Italy and then Spain. Once you're happy, just click on start game and it's going to then load up the database and then it's going to bring up the create manager and as you can see i've already created my manager but you can choose other profiles that you've already created uh, from that drop down box or you can edit delete new profile use profile you can even when you're editing a profile or you are creating a new one you can then export one that you've already created maybe in football manager 23 but I never saved my avatar. Maybe I should have went to FM23, saved it or exported it and then imported it into a game. But a fantastic new addition, I think this is brilliant, is hearing aids. It's really reflecting disabilities in the world that we have and even eye patches. I mean, this can even just be fun to use or it could just reflect a real life disability. Once you're happy with your profile, choose your team then you get to choose your managerial style. I tend to just go to just badge based on the team I'm going to manage because I think that's fair. I mean, you can make it harder and become a Sunday league footballer and start from zero. I tend to do that obviously down at my unknown to saves. But this one, it just allows me just to keep up there with the other managers that I'm competing against. And then I get to choose my management style focus in which I like to either be a motivator or a tactician. Now we're gonna check out another new feature in Football Manager 24, and that is loading your FM23 saved games. A few things to be aware of by loading your saved game is loading times might be a little bit longer. And then obviously for capabilities again, or for new features, some just might not be available. And then you're not gonna get any in-game achievements. So we're happy with that. So we're gonna press okay. And then we're gonna choose our unknown to icon save. The load time wasn't too bad, but there we have it. We have our FM23 save ported over to FM24. Just looks pretty amazing. It also allows you to go into for match details as well. I don't know how far up it remembers, but this is pretty good. The only bad thing is you can't see any highlights. However, I think this is really, really massive steps by Sports Interactive. Checking in with tactics, obviously there's a new position which is for inverted fullback. You can choose that within your tactic approach as well. Then we've got the new set piece function as well. I keep on saying as well because we do. As well, as well, as well. We're getting everything on what that you get from FM24. I know that they said that there was a few bits and I'm not too sure what they are. You would have to go and check the release notes if you want to know any further details. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. 
If you like this video, give the video a like. And if you would like to see further content for Football Manager 24, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on for the next one.